All right, so we are continuing our practice with identifying independent and depending clauses. So remember, if you don't know your subordinate conjunction, go back and review those lessons. You can see them in the parts of speech conjunction lesson or a verbial clause lesson. So while is a subordinating conjunction. So that means while Doug read, that is your adverbial depending clause. Now, the baby was happily playing with a string of spools. So I've crossed out my prepositional phrase. And then you see semicolon, however, comma. So right away, you should know, okay, I have another complete sentence afterwards because semicolon equals period. So it was not long. That is your depending clause. And then what do you see? You see another subordinator before. So before the child became bored, that is your dependent adverbial clause again. So essentially, you have two independent clauses and two dependent clauses, and that is your compound complex sentence. All right, and number two, having a job that one enjoys is a great asset. So now having a job is your gerund phrase as subject. So if, if you don't remember your gerund, go back and review your phrases again. That is your relative pronoun. So that one enjoys is your dependent adjective clause modifying job. So your independent clause is actually having a job is a great asset. So you have one independent and one dependent, and that is a complex sentence. All right, number 13. As is a subordinator. So as he and his father walk down the dusty road, that is my dependent adverbial clause. And then afterwards, I see my independent clause. They discuss the crops and the future of their farm. Cross out the prepositional phrase. So I have one independent, one dependent. And that is my complex sentence. Number 14. Cross out your prepositional phrases for the first time in four months. She balanced her checkbook. And then you see a positive. So again, like the phrase, Jaren phrase, if you don't remember, go back and review your phrase. A task is a noun talking about the previous noun. So it is a positive. And then you see a relative pronoun that. So that was difficult is your dependent adjective clause modifying a task. And then afterwards, you see your because, which is a subordinator. So because she had not recorded each check written is your dependent adverbial clause. So as you can see here, after you cross out your prepositional phrases, you have one independent clause and two dependent clauses. So this is also a complex sentence. All right, number 15. The boy shared his baseball cards cross out with his cousin. What is who? Who, whom, who switched that? That is our relative pronoun. So who had only recently started a collection? That is your dependent adjective clause modifying cousin, which is called the antecedent, the noun you modify. So again, you have one independent and one dependent adjective clause, and that is your complex sentence. All right, and last practice for the day, find your subordinator. 
until, like while before as, that is your subordinating conjunction. So until I try to collect a set of baseball cards, that is my dependent adverbial clause. My independent clause, I had no idea. No idea what? And then I have that. That is actually my noun clause as a positive. So if you don't remember, go back and review noun clause again. But that is a depending clause. And then, of course, you see that, oh, I have a semicolon here, which is like a period. So for sure, I have another complete sentence after. So after I cross out for many collectors, which is my prepositional phrase, baseball cards are a financial investment. I know that I have a dependent adverbial clause, an independent clause, and then a noun clause, dependent noun clause as a positive, semicolon followed by independent. So I have two and two, and that is my compound complex sentence. All right, and that is it for this session.